Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss some practice examples on Bayes theorem. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about Bayes theorem and we have discussed one of the example for understanding the Bayes theorem. These are just practice examples. There is nothing new concept here. So if you have good intuition about Bayes theorem, it's very, very simple. The explanation is also provided based on the assumption that you already have that intuition about Bayes theorem. Please watch our previous class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, our first example is, suppose 5 men out of 100, 25 women out of 10,000 are color blinded. It was given that 5 out of 100, 25 out of 10,000. A color blinded person is chosen at random. So randomly we are going to pick a color blinded person. What is the probability of the person being he should be a male? And it was given that assume male and female equal in number. Randomly we are going to pick a color blinded person and in that randomly we are picking a color blinded person in that group we are having equal number of male and female persons. That is what they have mentioned. A color blinded person is chosen at random. What is the probability of the person being male? That is what we have to identify. We have to identify from the given data probability of male is 1 by 2. That was the statement says male and female are equal in number. Probability of female is 1 by 2 means 50%, 50%, 50 by 100 we given as a 1 by 2. Probability of color blinded if he is a male that is what provided 5 out of 50 out of what is that 5 out of 100 so that is given as 5 by 100 that is 0 0.05 probability of blinded if he is female 25 by 10,000 that is 0 0.0025 we need to identify probability of male if it was already given that a, he is a color blinded person probability of male given B so from the base theorem we know that uh, the equation probability of male if he is a color blinded person can be written as probability of blinded if he is a male probability of male divided by probability of male probability of uh, blinded if he is a male plus probability of female probability of blinded person if he is a female. This is what the equation from the base theorem total probability you simply substitute the values 0 0.005 multiplied by 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.05 multiplied by 0.5 plus 0.5 multiplied by 0.0025 this is what the final value finally we got that 0.95 this is what the probability says probability that if you if you pick a color blinded person that person should be a male what is the probability for that it is 0.95 95% of them will be male persons second one is the chance that uh, Dr. A will diagnose a disease X correctly is 60%. There is a disease and its name is X. There is a Dr. A. He is going to diagnose the disease X correctly 60%. Means 40% he may fail in diagnosis. That is the point you have to understand from this. The chance that a patient will die by his treatment after correctly diagnosis is 40%. Whether he diagnosed the patient correctly, after that the chances of patient die after correctly diagnosis is 40%. Chance of death after wrong diagnosis is 70% means these are conditional probabilities. If he diagnosed it properly, what is the death? If he diagnosed it not properly, what is the death? That is what they are going to give in the question. A patient of Dr. A who has disease X died. What is the chance his disease, his disease was diagnosed correctly? This is what we have to identify. So from the given statement, probability of D means diagnosed properly. D means diagnosed properly. 60 by 100, that is 0 0.6. Probability of D complement means he did, he did not diagnose it properly is 1 minus 0 0.6 that is 0 0.4. Probability of death if he diagnosed it properly is 0 0.4. Probability of death if he diagnosed not properly D complement is 0 0.7. These are the values that given in the statement and they are going to ask probability of diagnosed properly if he has died with the disease. If he has died, what is the probability that he is, has diagnosed properly? 
this is simply written as probability of diagnosed properly multiplied by probability of death if diagnosed proper uh, uh, diagnosed properly divided by probability of uh, d means diagnosed properly probability of death if he diagnosed properly uh, properly plus probability of not diagnosed properly probability of death if he not diagnosed properly this is what our bayes theorem equation is uh, opposite uh, so simply substitute it we will get uh, 6 by 13 this is how we will use bayes theorem in many of the cases uh, in identifying the probability values hope you understand the concept of Bayes theorem and these examples if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you